Hey girls, Julie here. Okay, I'm gonna give you some fun tips on how you can manage your time in a more effective manner, okay? Life is busy, even for kids. So you have a lot more homework now, right? And sometimes the due dates for your homework, they're more spread out. So it's not due the next day when you go to school, it's a few weeks down the road. You have more chores. Your parents are putting some responsibilities on you, which is great. You have activities and things that you're involved in, like sports and groups. Um, that's awesome, but this is all time consuming. So how can we do these things in an effective way? Get yourself a paper planner. There has to be a place where you can put down everything that you need to do and move it from your memory onto a sheet of paper. We do live in a tech world, and I'm not against a Google Calendar or using an app, but I think in the beginning when you're learning to manage your time, it's much more effective to actually put your pen to the paper when you're learning on learning a system of using a planner. So there's three different ways that you can do this because we're all wired differently, and it's about trial and error. You try something, it may not work, that's all right. Try it a different way you're still struggling. You can always reach out to me. I would love to help you. And you can always reach out to a teacher because we all want to see you win. And if you're putting forth the effort and you're communicating that you just need a little bit more help, we can all get you back onto that path of success. Okay? So one, you can write yourself a to-do list. This is totally basic. So many people do it. Write yourself a to-do list and color code it, all right? So just like a traffic light, red means stop where you are right now and get this assignment done. Yellow means, you know what, girlfriend, you need to get this done by the end of the week. And green means, all right, I have a little bit of time to get this task done. So immediately when you look at your to-do list, you're going to see the more urgent tasks that need to get done. So you know what you should tackle first, okay? Doing a little bit at a time will end up to completed assignments. High five. That's what we all want, right? We want you to complete your assignments. So don't wait to the last minute to complete them. To chip at it a little bit at a time and it'll feel totally less overwhelming. Number two, write your assignment down when your teacher tells you. So you're in school, you write that assignment down in today's date. Then you write down the due date right below it. Okay, you with me? So let's say that's Monday. Then you transfer that assignment to Tuesday. You transfer that assignment to Wednesday. You keep transferring the assignment until it is due or until it is complete. Writing that every single day will drill it in your noggin that you need to get that assignment done. That works for some people. Perfect. If that doesn't work for you, I have one more option. Number three, write down your assignment when your teacher tells you it on the actual due date in your planner, okay? So as you prepare for your week, you're looking and you see what is coming due. And that way you can chisel out of it again a little bit at a time until the due date is and your assignment is complete. We all work different, remember? So don't get frustrated if you try something and you need to try something else. Before you go to bed, set the stage for the next day. What does set the stage mean? Prepare, girls. You gotta prepare for the next day. No, nothing is more um, frustrating or stressful than waking up to your alarm clock and being like, I have to pack up my backpack, I have to make my lunch. Where am I going after school? Who's picking me up? You wanna know all of that the night before and you want to keep all of your belongings that you need for school in the same location. So let's say you store everything in your room. At your desk, your backpack should be every night. Your basketball bag should be there the night before you have practice. Your lunch should be packed. All your backpack stuff should be in your backpack and ready to go. So in the morning, it's easy peasy. You hopped on the bus, you walk to school, and you're not stressed out at all. And that will eliminate forgetting things. So you've been a good girl and you forgot to hand in your assignments. Ah, here's a way that you can stop doing that. Obviously, if you're working online, it's a little bit different. But you can set reminders to remind yourself and a little alarm clock, get a ding, you know, to turn it in. 
Another thing that works if you are going to school and you're turning something in, when you complete your assignment at home, put a post-it note on it. When you get to school and you open up your backpack, immediately you will see pieces of paper with post-it notes on it, and that will be your flag in your head to turn in that assignment. You don't want to forget it at home, forget it in your locker, etc. If you did the work, you want to get the points for it, right? So just like you prepare for your opponents on the court, you have to prepare for your day. And you have to do things over and over again so that you can get in a habit and it's like second nature. Hope that helps.